From the murky waters of the sportsman's paradise, stories emerge. Stories of the generations of people who have shared in the bounties of the land. Stories of communities that have persevered through natural disasters. Stories of the abundance of fish, wildlife, and adventures that create an ecosystem rich in diversity. And from the silted banks of the mighty Mississippi to the soggy marsh bottoms, from the tops of towering pine forests to the depths of the salty gulf, human and animal have shared this fortune for centuries. Enjoy these stories as told by outdoor journalists who travel across our state documenting the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. This week's episode of Bayou Wild TV is a shrimper's delight. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! From commercial harvest to scientific management practices, century-old traditions, and culinary delicacies, Louisianians love shrimp. They think you just go to grocery store. Well, where did this come from? Well, if it comes from airports, you don't want it anyway. So the industry is dying, and uh, nobody wants to help us keep it. They, like, they love what we cook. They love what we bring. But nobody wants to help us keep it. We're praying that's going to change. First, we climb aboard the Peruga for a hands-on look at how a commercial shrimper makes their living on the water. Third generation, I'm Croatian. I'm not French. I'm a Croatian commercial fisherman. My dad came from an old country. But every summer, we came out here on the boat. You didn't have a choice of doing nothing. So I learned to trade, and I went to school at the same time. Being a deckhand, I'm pretty used to long days on the water, 16-hour days. But you have a newfound respect for shrimpers if you go out with them. Well, you see, you got fried shrimp, blackened shrimp, stewed shrimp, boiled shrimp, shrimp po' boys, shrimp stew, shrimp gumbo, Cajun shrimp. Gumbo It's pretty shrimp. much the fruit of the sea. <laughs> then, did you know there are shrimp in the Mississippi River? We join one of the few Louisiana outdoorsmen still around today who practices the dying art of harvesting river shrimp. I'm the only one between here in New Orleans that's fishing on the river on this side. Further down in Donaldsonville, there's one more man. Every year, it looks like we got less and less shrimp in the river. This year, we had an extra amount of water that came down, so it looked like it's going to be a good year. When it comes to cooking shrimp, there's no shortage of great recipes. We finish off this week's show in the kitchen for a quick Asian-inspired Louisiana shrimp dish with one of the state's most beloved captains. I like kind of cooking it into the butter. What I'm doing, I'm put a little handful of shrimp in here and we're gonna, after we're gonna saute the shrimp down, we'll take the shrimp out and then we're gonna add some rice and then put the shrimp back on top of the rice. So it could be a Cajun fried rice, as some people say. <laughs> it could just be enjoying what's very easy. This is a very quick meal. Closed captioning made possible by CETO.com. Become a member. If you're lucky enough to bag a deer or a hog this season, bring it here to Double D. Double D processes hogs and exotic game and guarantees your product is always the meat you brought to Double D. Double D meats in Bogalusa, home of country smoked, spicy jalapeno cheddar, and other customized flavors. Bring your deer or your hog here to Double D, where you always get your meat back in return. It's worth a drive to Bugaloosa from anywhere. Double D. Add the taste of Louisiana to your next meal. If you like creamy, Bold, tangy, or spicy. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with sauces from Louisiana fish fry products.
Shrimping is big business, and as the species moves with the tides, so do the people who study and harvest them. Aboard the Peruga, Captain George Barisic continues a way of life that has been in his family for generations. Third generation, I'm Croatian. I'm not French, I'm a Croatian commercial fisherman. My dad came from the old country. But every summer we came out here on the boat. You didn't have a choice of doing nothing. So I learned to trade and I went to school at the same time. In Louisiana, the shrimping industry accounts for more than 15,000 jobs and over a billion dollars to the economy annually. Spending the day aboard a commercial shrimping vessel lets you truly appreciate the hard work that goes into the business. The people have the opportunity to see, come out here, enjoy it, see what it's all about before they kill it. Because if we don't do something to get our shrimp prices up, they're going to kill it. Why, I don't know, but they're going to kill it. So you're not going to have that opportunity. They're physically moving stuff all day. Uh, it's a lot of work. There's a lot of sorting, a lot of dirty stuff to get through, and of course, storms as well. But local shrimpers struggle every day, battling our nation's preference for cheaper foreign seafood. The shrimp industry in Louisiana is, um, is historic in the sense that uh, this fishery is probably 200 years old. In terms of the importance of the fishery, it's the state's largest and most valuable commercial fishery. In offshore waters, shrimp can be harvested year round. But in state waters, the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries carries the task of managing seasons for both the recreational and commercial shrimp harvest. Obviously, the number one goal is to maintain the sustainability of, of the fishery. And, and we approach that in a number of directions. We have an aggressive year-round monitoring program designed to sample shrimp populations in all of the state's estuaries. Well, certainly the, the, the importance of the shrimp fishery as well as the, you know, the other state's major fisheries is, is important from a cultural and an economic standpoint. For instance, a study completed in 2008 estimated that the economic benefit or the economic impact to the state from the shrimp fishery was in excess of $1.2 billion. It's a staggering amount. Um, so obviously we have a great interest in managing this fishery on a sustainable basis. Coming up next, the Mississippi River is a symbol of life in Louisiana. But as decades pass, so do the traditions and appreciation for its bounties. I was brought up and raised here. I caught shrimp in the river. I made money with that. I caught alligators. I caught frogs, I caught snakes, I caught crawfish. There was no money here. There was field work, Sugar House, Avondale, that was it. Everybody depended on these shrimps for a living, to eat. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. If you're a proud Bayou Wild TV viewer, check out the Bayou Wild TV Collection shirts. Both regular tee and long sleeve dry fit are a perfect fit for any outdoorsman or woman who lives and plays in Bayou Country. And they make perfect gifts. Go to BayouWildTV.com. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get delivery seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. The Louisiana Wildfowl Festival is October 5th and 6th at the Casting Center at Pelican Park in Mandeville. Over 2,000 hand-carved and collected decoys and other stunning wildlife by world champion carvers. Compare your favorites with judges who award over $45,000 in prizes. 
Buy outstanding wildlife and wildfowl art at Sunday's auction. See live decoy carving and painting at the Louisiana Wildfowl Festival Saturday, October 5th and 6th at the Castine Center in Mandeville's Pelican Park. Visit lwccg.com. In the great American novel, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Arthur Mark Twain uses the Mississippi River as a symbolic reference to freedom. Young Huck and Jim are most happy when floating down the river. But for generations of outdoorsmen and women who have spent their entire life along its banks, the Mississippi River is a source of life. As a kid, I remember making my first shrimp box at the age of 12. I caught more in that one shrimp box every day than I catch in all six or eight that I have now. It was loaded with shrimp. There was 90% more shrimp then than now. Through the years, dams was built up there which stopped some of the migrations and a little pollution, a lot of boats in the river that stirs up mud every time they pass and all that co contributes to having less shrimp. I was brought up and raised here. I caught shrimp in the river. I made money with that. I caught alligators. I caught frogs. I caught snakes. I caught crawfish. But our big family, all our kids, we ate off the land. There was no money here. There was field work, Sugar House, Avondale. That was it. Everybody depended on these shrimps for a living, to eat. Take your time. Take your time. We're about 20 feet from the river itself, from the main stream. And the, your, your shrimp are moving from the levee out there, which is about 400 yards, they're all going to be concentrated on the river as the river go down. So that's why this one did excellent. And we have more that's probably going to be do the same thing as this one. I'm the only one between here in New Orleans that's fishing on the river on this side. I have a good neighbor next door. He's a bigger fisherman. He catches more than me because he has more boxes. Further down in Donaldsonville, there's one more man every year it looked like we got less and less shrimp in the river. This year we had an extra amount of water that came down, so it looked like it's going to be a good year. Uh, I can tell you one thing that I know. There's a time in the season, in the spring, that there's millions of one inch long shrimp in that river. Your box is a solid full with the babies. The, how they travel here and when they start, I really think they start coming down here in the winter time to get down here from way up north. That I can tell you. I would say two years, maybe three. You got these big shrimps. We caught some shrimp last week almost twice as big as these. You wouldn't believe the size, it was almost as big as a crawfish. More or less have a texture and a taste of a crawfish. With the shrimp 
with the water, the, the, the taste of the river water, which have its own taste, mixed with the crustacean of whatever it is, and, and it's a better taste. And uh, I have never caught a saltwater fish, a brown or a white shrimp in this river. Throughout the years, the way of life to truly live off the land is becoming much more rare. Old traditions die hard. Uh, it's gonna go away with, my, with me. Very few people are doing it. Uh, I figure in the next five or 10 years, it's gonna be over. And these shrimp, they must add billions of pounds of shrimp that came down with this water this year. Five people that I know maybe is catching them. Two across the river and three here. One in Donaldsonville, one here, and one at, with my neighbor. So I, I think it's gonna go. It, it's gonna be done. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. I've been using Louisiana fish fry products so much, even the kids are getting into it. Find your bag, pour and boil, a great crawfish every time. And whether you're boiling crawfish, shrimp, or crabs, Louisiana fish fry products use the perfect blend of garlic, onion, spices, and salt for your seafood boils. So look for the bright yellow bag and pour and boil with Louisiana fish fry products. Get your Bayou Wild Collection soft tee or dry fit fishing shirt at BayouWildTV.com. Show you're a proud Bayou Wild supporter and get both today at BayouWildTV.com. Hello, my friends. This is Louisiana native Zachary Richard. I cherish the outdoor experiences that make our state so special. And for the first time in over 60 years, hooping cranes are back in Louisiana. Wildlife and fisheries need your help as these beautiful birds resettle in our state. If you spot a hooping crane, observe it from a distance. And if you witness anyone harming one of these very special birds, call the number on the screen. This message is underwritten by Chevron. Probably the most versatile seafood there is, lots of ways to cook it, but nobody did it like the Louisiana man, Captain Tofield Bourgeois. Not only did he leave us with a lot of great stories, he left us with some delicious recipes coming from the Louisiana man's kitchen. All right guys, so today we actually do a little barbecue shrimp here. So you gotta start off with a lot of butter. So this is a little pad, a little bit of butter here. So we get that going, get that melting first. So what we're gonna do is my version of barbecue shrimp. So Louisiana Fish Fry has this awesome product. Uh, the way they have it on a recipe is no doubt the way to do it, you know, with the whole shrimp heads on. But for us right now, needing the speed that we gotta have sometimes with feeding a lot of people, uh, we're kinda a little short version, a bourgeois version. So definitely we're gonna saute this butter, get it going. Uh, this here, this stuff is very potent. So you don't have to put a lot. So it's honestly two tastes, and I can tell you this from experience, the, um, the longer the shrimp scent, the longer they sit, the spicier it's gonna get. So barbecue shrimp, Louisiana fish fry, and you're down here in the Cajun Vista, so I'm actually gonna just kinda get it going. And I like kinda cooking it into the butter. And what I'm doing, I'm put a little handful of shrimp in here, and we're gonna, after, we're gonna saute the shrimp down, we'll take the shrimp out, and then we're gonna add some rice and then put the shrimp back on top of the rice. So it could be a Cajun fried rice, as some people say. <laughs> it could just be enjoying what's very easy. This is a very quick meal. So, as you can see, we're simmering pretty good. We're really there, a low fire is key. It's like cooking bacon, man, you can't be in a rush. So we're gonna put some fresh, baritary cut shrimp. I was throwing a cast in off my dock caught a handful this morning. 
<laughs> if you believe that. <laughs> the thing is here, man, just sauteing this up. And you know shrimp, man, three minutes. That's basically it. So anytime you fry shrimp, same thing, you don't want to over fry, don't want to overcook. So it's real important to just get to the right part. So we're gonna let this simmer for about three minutes. I'm gonna add some chives to it. I'm gonna take the shrimp out, I'm gonna put some rice in, and then reincorporate it. So it's pretty cool. So we'll give it a couple minutes. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get delivery seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. The Louisiana Wildfowl Festival is October 5th and 6th at the Casting Center at Pelican Park in Mandeville. Over 2,000 hand-carved and collected decoys and other stunning wildlife by world champion carvers. Compare your favorites with judges who award over $45,000 in prizes. Buy outstanding wildlife and wildfowl art at Sunday's auction. See live decoy carving and painting at the Louisiana Wildfowl Festival Saturday, October 5th and 6th at the Casting Center in Mandeville's Pelican Park. Visit lwccg.com. Some things in life smell delicious. Others, not so much. Like a gas leak. Propane, for instance, is naturally odorless. That's why we add strong odorants to alert you if there is a leak. So if you ever smell gas, turn your system off at the tank and call your propane dealer immediately. Propane is a safe and exceptional fuel, and we want to keep it that way. All right, guys, so we're simmering pretty good, and like, you know, the, the shrimp are firming up. We're getting good color in it. You can tell the clear is going. It's starting to get that nice little kind of golden color. So I like I'm going to throw a little hand, put like some, some green onions up in there, a little chives. And just kind of get that in, just for a little flavor. You know, they ain't, we don't really want to cook them down. We're just going to give them color, just a little shot, a little shot of flavor. So we're getting color now. we got some pretty green. So the thing is, you got all this butter in here, which is awesome if you like French bread like me and dipping butter and getting it all the way down to the elbow. That's pretty cool. But uh, if you wanna, you wanna extend this dish, dish, if someone shows up you really didn't plan for it, because it'd be me, I'd put this on French bread and dip that butter on across and have a big old greasy shrimp, barbecue shrimp sandwich. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna incorporate some rice and uh, definitely bring it into here. So the thing is, if you put the rice in with the shrimp, it's really hard to mix it. So cool, we're looking good. All right, so I'm gonna take this out of here. Take my shrimp, put them in a little bowl. But the dish ain't done yet. Cause somebody just showed up and you wasn't ready for them. So you dug in your refrigerator and you found some old rice from yesterday's gumbo. <laughs> my mama keeps rice on the counter for about two weeks. So uh, she said, it's always good. So we're gonna put some rice in here. Just happened to have some handy. Sitting right in the right spot. Alright, so so basically now what we're doing is now we're just gonna incorporate this into the rice. So yes, that's a lot of butter you're probably saying. But uh, you know, butter keeps you moving, keeps your body going. So it's gonna change the color of your rice also. So you can actually cook the rice a little bit. It will give you kind of a popcorn taste. The rice will get kind of a, a good taste to it, man. So right now you could stop right there and just add your shrimp back into it. Uh, I like to let it go just a little bit longer and let actually my rice cook. So right now, this is okay, but you know, you, as being Cajun, you gotta add a little, gotta have a little more garlic. So we're gonna, we're gonna increase the rice to get a little different flavor. We want the rice to be a little bit different than what the shrimp you're eating. So a little shot of garlic. And we gotta have some good Cajun season, Louisiana fish fry season. So again, here's our salt, here's our cayenne pepper. Don't go too crazy with it, or maybe a little crazy. <laughs> and definitely, uh, we're gonna start this up. Now you can hear it, that rice frying. So it's definitely there, man. So if the more people showed up, you just throw more rice. 
or go get a loaf of French bread and have them eat bread and butter before you start serving this dish, this dish here. But right now, you'd plate this up and we'd throw a little shrimp right on top. And we're good to go. So for keeping it pretty, there you go, man. So that's that's actually our plate. So that's barbecue shrimp over rice. That's good to go. Mm-mm. You ain't hungry. That'll make you hungry. There you go. Perfect for the in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. The iconic whooping crane is back in Louisiana. If you spot a whooping crane, remember, observe and admire it from a distance and always report any harmful activity. You can always help the Louisiana whooping cranes thrive by donating to LAWFF.org. Thank you to Chevron and the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation for their generous support. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Thanks for watching Bayou Wild. Remember, you can get all your Bayou Wild merchandise. You can get hats like seen on Don and shirts like this, T-shirts as well. Check that out at BayouWildTV.com. They make great gifts, and they're great for the hot weather we've been dealing with lately. And don't forget to check out our social media on Facebook and also on Instagram, BayouWildTV.com.